hi everybody so i thought i'm trying to do a quick video um but i do waffle so hopefully i won't stay too long um so i've never mentioned this right it's all right him indoors is here um i've never mentioned this but um i don't know if i'm guessing people seen these um philip hue lights you can buy connect to wi-fi and that so our house um all our lights are uh, run by wi-fi um and we we brought these we started having these lights maybe six years ago maybe was it mm -hmm. right the dog's having a little we, got, we didn't get them all at once we got a couple and yeah we, we started with a couple and started getting a few more in the house and we've got speakers all around the house and we've got a ring doorbell so everything's all wi-fi um which is good but when we first, when he first, I used to buy light bulbs at Perland, right? I'd never spent a lot of money. I mean, I'm going back years ago, you'd probably get, oh, I don't know, six light bulbs for a quid. They worked, I don't think that was it. So they was fine. So anyway, Andy was like, oh, because he likes technology. And he said, we'll have to get these light bulbs, Philip Hughes. Philip Hughes, isn't they? Philips Hue. Okay, Philips Hue, whatever they're called. Anyway, they connect to your Wi-Fi, and um, we have got the lights, um, string lights, what they're called. Strip lights, anyway. We used to have more beyond the telly, but we don't know. They're in the bedroom. So, anyway, he was saying, oh, you know, if we buy these lights, we don't even have to go to the, turn the switch on. We can just tell the speaker, switch this on and that. I mean, the toilet, I don't know if... Oh, it's still on. So when you're going out to downstairs toilet... Turn it off, Turn it off a sec. So when you're going out toilet downstairs, um, the light comes on automatically. You ain't going to pull the string. You turned it off. You can do it all via app. They oh, am wow. good. Right. So the light, let me show you, the light is off. But when you go in, there you go, it comes on. Which is good, you know. Um, and I was thinking, yeah, they're, they're a good idea. He was going, we don't need switches. So what does he go and do? Shut pick that bloody thing. He's bought, he's brought, the idea was, buy these lights, right, we don't need to use, to switch them on, we just tell the speaker. He's bought a blood, that, that cost 50 quid, that. He's brought that, and I said, well, you didn't want switches, we've got switches over here, look at the back. We've got these this light switches switch. all in the house. This is more than a switch, this there. is a switch you can take. <laughs> but where are you going to take it? <laughs> So this it's got, brown it's car, got three buttons on it. Yeah, it, it, it. It turns lights off and off. So he sold me on these light bulbs. Oh, uh, we won't. We have to use the switches. All that kind of crap. And now he's brought. In fact, let me show you another one. Thank you for the ball. It's magnetic. But the whole point of these bloody lights, right? I mean, you can turn them off and on, but so does that free switch that's in the house. So I'll tell you what, I'll never understand men, never, right? He says, I whinge. I think I've got bloody right to whinge. I know, but can you do this with those switches? Um, Alexa, surely 50%. Well, yeah. Now, we haven't got dimmer switches here. We'll have to change all no, the but... switches for... And can you do this? Shirley. Uh, Alexa. Shirley Blue. Here's the music. Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> Shirley Blue. Sorry. Alexa, stop. That's what you get. Alexa, what? turn Shirley Blue. It is good. It can you can have different colours, but there is times when the bloody speaker is not working right, and and he gets annoyed. He's, and I'm laughing because he's shouting it, turn it bloody off. But, but that's the uh, no. But where's the sense in 
buying bulbs because you can have a speaker turn them off and on and then you buy the bloody switches why is the sense in that honestly it's too technical for you because you're 90 years old yeah. and you know stick you... to pairing and bulbs that's what i used to do um and in the last five years uh, since you've had Hugh, how many bulbs have you had to change well none at the moment but now you've said it all oh, bulbs are going in the house and they ain't bloody cheap um another thing bloody oh, hype mess but we've got that being collected i brought that no um it was in the spare room that was covered it all in perfume no. um but i've gave them i've gave most the perfumes to my girls because went through a phase of buying all perfume so Yes, we've got a charity collecting that tomorrow, hopefully, at the way. I mean, I don't think it's that old, is it? But, waste of bloody money. Anyway, that's me, we, me and Jin. The poor dog's throwing these shoes up in the air. That's me, stopped whinging anyway. Um, Stop whinging? You ain't stopped whinging for the last 50 years. You've only got another 50 to go. <laughs> That's a bit like throttle, yeah? <laughs> anyway, we shall see you later. Go on, say the same. Keep safe, stay warm. See you in the next one. See you later. Hello. Hi everyone, we're just about to... Uh, well, Lisa's about to prepare some dinner. Uh, we're having salad. She's... Um, Going to chop some salad and chop some pineapple and prepare salmon. Yes. And I'll try and do like a little time lapse and it'll be up there or it will be a little segment after this video. Mm -hmm. I won't bore you with the full, but it'll just be a little taster. It's um, cheaper just to chop. I used to do them um, salads. I used to buy them where they were already prepared. But I didn't realise they're blooming up how much expensive that was. And, and we're trying to save and stuff, cut corners. So now I just um, let this cucumber, tomato, chop it all up myself. And I, I have mixed beans in water out of a can. So. Starting to sound a bit London-y. Tomato, tomato, tomato. It's tomato. <laughs> So, anyway, we'll, uh, I'll show you the salad prep. Yeah, uh, I'm sure they're excited this. about lettuce, cucumber and tomato. <laughs> well, it's something you do. They might want to see it. They yeah. don't. They can fast forward it. They can stop it. Yes. Uh, oh. No one's spoiling them. I've uh, put a dollop of uh, salad cream in as well. Well, diet one. I've got to lose some blubber because I had Easter egg the other day. Yes, uh, my hair needs shaving. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, it's just over two weeks for Wales. Yes. So, so uh, we're just uh, probably next week we're going to load up the car. We like to do it early. Bit by bit. I mean, we're more or less packed. Um, I mean, she's got enough clothes to pack ten times over. Well, but... I tend to uh, pack stuff um, and just wash it and leave it back in the case but what we're supposed to get a lot of, uh, some snow uh, i don't know how cause... i think well it's late this week but i think we're going to probably just about miss it I mean, it, it looks quite summer. nice out there really sunny i mean it's a bit chilly but um yeah imagine it in scotland yes we'll probably get to scotland when we get our motor on so. oh definitely and uh breakdown well, don't say bloody breakdown. We haven't. It. Can I just say one thing? And I'll say that a lot. Yeah. So we're saving from our tram. Yeah, we've seen it many times. We're buying bits that we need uh, for the mouth tram. You don't know about buying a bloody diesel eater? We haven't even got a mouth tram yet. <laughs> Listen, uh, where, if we you, you want to go to Scotland, you're going to need a diesel eater. We could buy a mouth tram right. with a diesel. The motor home we're going to buy is going to be old. It's going to be drafty. It's going to, it's, uh, we'll be lucky if it's watertight. So, you're going to need a diesel eater. If you buy one and it's got a diesel eater, what are you going to do? Put another one in. No one's going to fit a diesel eater, I don't know. You don't know. 
well, a lot of people are these so days. is Andy to have a backup these days a lot of people are having the we could do finding my thinking is is that a diesel eater now a Chinese one costs about 110 last year there were about 90 pounds I know they keep going up in price because they're getting more popular by the time you get them at home they'll probably be about 200 quid deep buy one now put it away the fit I know how to fit one it's a hole in the floor not allowed <laughs> so anyway salad prep you have a good one and a safe one and I'll see you then Put the uh, camera on because her indoors is moaning at me. Right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. She needs to pause hang the on. telly. What son Steve will calls controlling and abusive beasts? You know that. You, you're a smart dog. You know what I'm saying. Show me your arm. That's no way of talking of yourself. Show me your arm. I don't feel that abuse. Uh, you know, I can feel, I feel controlled. So she loves you uh, number one, show me your arm. You've labelled. Right? They've seen my arm. Beast. And you know what? Christmas, he's got a different name. He's known as Father Beastmas. <laughs> I put the camera on because I said to her, I mentioned, oh, I might get treat myself to uh, another Lego model this Christmas. And, and, and then uh, she starts um, whinging. whinging of all the things that I've had over the years. And then she mentions there's an old boat that we brought in Great Yarmouth. Pause the telly because... I haven't got the remote. Pause the telly because I want to hear you moaning. I want to hear you whinging. Right. I'm not whinging. I'm just stating facts. All right, so... Um, I brought a boat years ago, right? Okay, it was uh, it's, a, it's an RC boat, but it's uh, all it's just the what you would call it the hull, just the body. Shit! It's got no innards or anything like that. So it's a great project. I'll build it up and stuff. Got it back, put it in the shed, and it's been there ever since. <laughs> right? Great project. <laughs> but. It's going to get done some someday. <laughs> this decade, hopefully. It's with your remote control cars that you brought and, and built. Have you heard the term pot calling the kettle black? All the crap you get over the years, the Mickey Mouses, the, the God no, the, the yeah, all the stuff. There's right owls. List going on there. <laughs> okay. We've got cupboards full, right? Uh, you have the audacity to moan about a boat that I brought years ago. Happy wife, happy life. Happy husband is a very happy husband. Yeah. And you, you know, it's not all about you. The world doesn't oh, spin around you I'm, well, very, I, I'm, sorry well to, I'm sorry to break that news to you well it should and anyway you still ain't put the lights on the bloody tree you were going to do it last night they're getting there I've just uh, I've, I've put them near the tree oh bloody hell so he was going to do it last night and then it was like I'll tell you what I shall do it tonight now, day on the next vlog, is still I bloody done it. So, I Uber, I clean the dishes. No, you don't. I do editing. Already now we've got a dishwasher. And don't uh, get more in the grass. Say more in the grass because you got bloody Rupert doing that. The, the grass isn't growing anymore. Well, Rupert's having a rest then. The, 
lawnmower. Rupert's hi hibernating. So, yes, uh, my stepdaughter bought some biscuits. Very nice. Oh, very nice. Um, Your stepdaughter. I did say my stepdaughter. I've got stepmom dramas on her. <laughs> well, if it's your stepdaughter and my stepdaughter, that, that won't make sense, would it? No. Uh. No. Anyway. Uh, that's the whinge. That's my weekly whinge. Uh, you're probably used to Look, Lisa's hourly whinge. In this house for one whinger. And that is me. Yeah. A whinge. It's my duty. A whinge a day keeps uh, the doctor away. Mm -hmm.